Hello, welcome to the new edition of GEMS. I will be discussing the top 10 errors which can happen in the treatment of diabetes. What are those top 10 errors? Number one, late initiation of insulin. Insulin is a hormone which is absolutely essential both in the treatment of type 1 and type 2 diabetes. In type 2 diabetes, insulin injections are required usually for a couple of months at the time of diagnosis if the blood sugars or the A1C are very high. And then later on before the sugars are too high and that can be 6 years or 7 years or 10 years after the occurrence of diabetes. So never ever delay starting insulin injections in diabetes whatever be the stage of diabetes. If you are delaying insulin injections it can result in involvement of important organs diabetes can be very serious and persistently high sugars can permanently damage some of the vital organs in the body number two suboptimal dosages what is the meaning of that? Patients with diabetes may, not, may be on different therapies. Some of you may be on oral drugs. Some of you may be on a combination of insulin and oral therapies. But in countries like India, more than 85 patients with diabetes, despite on various therapies, will continue to have very very high sugars. What is the reason? The reason is very very simple. The patients and the treating doctors fear the occurrence of hypoglycemia, low sugar, which can be deadly and which can even lead on to death of the person. And because of this fear, patients are continued and kept on a sub-optimal dosage. So always realize that if you have consistently high sugars, either you may require change of medications or you may require slow and gradual increments in the existing dosages. Very frequently I used to receive emails with requests on advices on how to normalize the sugars. My SP1C is 10. I am on insulin in the morning and in the evening. And despite very high dosages of insulin, my blood sugars remain very high. Dear friend, the answer is very simple. There is no diabetes which cannot be treated. All diabetes patients can be effectively and efficiently treated. We have medications and technologies to treat all types of diabetes. So be happy. Number three, selection of the diabetes team. Yes, you need a qualified doctor and a qualified team consisting of educated and trained and provisionally qualified dietitians, nurses, pharmacists, etc. to treat you. And this selection should never be based on a convenience in terms of a distance, in terms of a time of consultation, but it should be based on qualification and your level of comfort. And avoid going from one doctor to the other very frequently. You stick on to your doctor and you stick on to your doctor and the team. 
and this team is more important probably than the doctor himself since the team is going to support you with education with helping you titrate your drugs your diet and exercise modifications and whenever required counseling next wrong injection techniques in our research programs we have identified more than 80% of patients with diabetes on insulin injections committing several mistakes this even happens to those on injections for several decades insulin injection techniques should be carefully learned how to fill how to change the needle the site of the injection how to rotate the site and which are all the preferred sites which are all the sites you are not supposed to inject etc etc number 5 the selection of therapies and drugs many a time in some countries patients are in search of the cheapest available hospital for the treatment of diabetes and the lowest priced drugs for the treatment of diabetes it makes sense but the choice should be not for the cheapest drugs but for original medications and for the best available therapy otherwise the cost can be very low in the beginning but gradually over the years with the occurrence with the onset of complications the cost of therapy will go by several folds so don't commit such silly mistakes next irregular visits to the hospital this is extremely common diabetes is a lifelong disease and it requires lifelong treatment the treatment could be with medications or with lifestyle alone but laboratory investigations and physical visits to the hospital should be made at specified frequencies you know what happens once you feel diabetes is under control you probably will never visit your diabetes team again it can be delayed for several months or even for several years diabetes unfortunately is a silent killer so always remember to visit your hospital at specified intervals don't miss it number 7 discontinuation of concomitant medications very commonly seen in diabetes if you are on a comprehensive therapy with all the investigations done you are likely to be following the international treatment guidelines where you will be put on several medications and these medications are going to ultimately prevent the damage to other vital organs and these drugs can include drugs to protect your kidney drugs to protect your heart lowering the cholesterol and we come across so many patients who will decide themselves to stop the so called medicines along with the medicines for diabetes assuming that those parameters have normalized never do that never do that diabetes is recognized as a cardiovascular equivalent disease and hence all patients will be put on a couple of concomitant medications and these medicines are going to prevent some of the deadly complications in vital organs don't make such mistakes number 8 going after unproven therapies 
these unproven therapies could be indigenous medicines or it can be some magical remedies and unfortunately even educated patients with diabetes children of educated patients they may fall prey to such unproven medications ultimately succumbing to some of the deadly complications of diabetes diabetes is an ancient disease we didn't have any scientific treatment until very recently now we have injectables and oral medications which are extremely powerful beneficial and without any side effects don't commit errors going after unproven therapies not proven through scientifically conducted clinical trials you have to rely only on those medications which are scientifically approved by the authorities and available globally number 9 improper inadequate use of a glucometer glucometer is a simple device a tool which will help patients with diabetes or subjects without diabetes in the pre diabetes stage to detect blood sugar values at different points of time before food after food and the use of a glucometer probably is pivotal in deciding the future of a patient with diabetes if somebody is not using glucometer properly to translate those values to modifications in their exercise diet and medications it will be really unfortunate and he may land up in failure glucometers are available from different companies enquire and procure a good one with memory with accuracy and remember if you are using the right technique you are going to have very very accurate values with the new generation meters whatever be the type of diabetes or whatever be the stage of diabetes please regularly use glucometers last number 10 treatment of diabetes after the onset of complications it is said that more than 85% of patients with diabetes especially in the developing world ultimately succumb to one or more of its complications and these complications have become very common like in the heart in the kidney in the eye the complications which can occur in some of the vital organs dysfunction of the brain and sexual dysfunction and what about the treatment of diabetes after the onset of a complication like a heart attack or a kidney failure it's again important why because after the occurrence of a heart attack you will see several hundreds of patients developing either a second heart attack or a renal failure or even retinopathy within a couple of years this happens because the patients are again blind unaware of how they should be treating the basic illness which has resulted in such complications and this is where again you have to rely upon a qualified diabetes team to treat your diabetes one complication is not the end of life even if you are a victim of one or two complications please remember to take care of the basic disease by a qualified team which alone will help you prevent the occurrence of other complications in future thereby 
your life, rested life, is guaranteed. I have just enumerated the top 10 errors which can happen in diabetes. But that's not the end of it. There could be thousands of mistakes. We, the diabetes team at Jodhadev's Diabetes Research Center in Kerala, sincerely wish our efforts in diabetes education of the public is helping you a lot in translating them to your management of diabetes. Thank you very much for your feedbacks. Kindly post your comments in YouTube. Until next month, bye-bye from Kerala.